through connector, but Stewie finds his moment to pounce, and they're making this costly again. Kept in check eventually from plain and simple, but two good kills, a couple of opportunities. That could have been a lot worse for Na'Vi, but they do manage to keep all of those, well, at least three rifles up so they can spread the wealth. I mean, early game, I mean, Na'Vi's up 3-0, but that's a big win for Cloud9, the economic damage they've done, because what this prevents from coming out in this fourth round is an AWP on Guardian. He's not going to be able to have that. So at least for this first gun round, they don't have to worry about it. And if they can win this, the economy's obviously just, just shattered right off the bat. So Cloud put himself in position to, to really get a quick start in this half. And I think that's I think that's the big thing is, is if you look back towards the match we just saw with Cloud9 against the North, they can't get that slow. It's actually getting very exciting indeed. Simple in such a great spot to take them down as Flamey's taking away all the aggro. Oh, doesn't get much better than that, but doesn't hit the shot. No way. Simple. He does find Taz when he goes back to the side. He's going back for the same fight, makes up for it this time. That could have been a huge miss. He knew Neo was there, it was telegraphed. He'd already shot toward his teammate. Some feedback through the house. It's fine. I don't know if it was in my ears or not. I'm sometimes very crazy. Well, I'm always crazy, so I didn't know if that was in my head or not, Henry. No, I heard it as well, so I can confirm. You are crazy, but not in this particular instance. But that was actually a really cool strategy for Na'Vi. That's quite standard. Or in their, in their attempt at the 15th round. Yeah, we'll see if anything's going to swing this one back into NIP's favor. Gearing up to what looks like the A hit to come in pit. Already over by Squeaky. You've got two towards main. Freiburg playing a little bit late. Could be just setting up something. At the moment, maybe watching for that flank that could be very, very likely. But here comes the plays, and JW is still in position timing. Waits for that third second, goes back in. Oh, that was close, but now the Molly's come running in. This becomes a problem. A well-constructed hit, but it doesn't matter when GW is still doing that through smoke. Now, three players remain for the T side here. Exist stuck his way towards the side. But there's problems left, right, and center. Alleviating some of that was Freiburg. There's the follow-up, 33 seconds, and Exist comes alive. That's two big kills, leaving JW to handle it all. 1v3, 27 seconds, and just too much on one man. Save towards Banana Steel, locking them in towards the side. But Lucas can't do the job towards that player, just sliding out towards CT. And now Steel's in trouble. He knows that Alu could be pressuring him. Takes the fight, can't hit the shot, though. Alu just outdoing him here, but this is awkward as hell. Steel finally wins it and it's a 2v2, they still have a kit as well, bearing in mind. Kyo's low, as is Kerrigan, and here we go. Kyo needs to slow it down, deny the hit. Lucas comes in, Kyo finds one, and it's just onto Steel, but they are so low, but he just can't find them. They bought time so well. Ring a ring of rosies, and Steel, this does not feel good. Oh, this is so uncomfortable for Steel, and <laughs> Kiyoshima just knows he's won. He's out of bullets, but he still wins the round. Phase, if you're not hitting your shots, the answer. Point between both sides, not really committed to either. And the information man, as highlighted, Steel. He's got to see this one coming. If they check it first, if they get the shot first, it could be a problem. And here we go, Steel lines them up, but can't knock him down. Rain will break through, and now the hit quickens. Down to Rain and Alu. Still got a molly, still got some flashes, still got some play here. Alu's still got the orb, so this can still happen. A bit of an unorthodox plant. Just going to gamble that one out, get it down, get it done. And now Alu has to come in, and he does. That's big. Fighting Henny is massive, and now it's the 1v1. Bolts has brought it back to being a possibility. Alu just going to toy with time. He's going on a walkabout all the way around towards short with the full defuse. 10 seconds, this is gutsy. This is brave, but it doesn't matter. Alu denies that little piece of hope Immortals were killing him to. Part of the crowd in the Spodek, Pansy and Moses are standing by. Yeah, thank you, Alex. This is absolutely unreal here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is starting to get good stuff. There's a lot of people starting to come into the crowd. <laughs> uh, the Navi chat was a little powerful. Yeah, we I got think a, that's intimidating. We got a good friend over here. Let's go, Navi! Oh, that's going to help one There it is. No yeah. biases. No, absolutely not. But let's be honest here, looking at that map pool. All right. Unreal. Unbelievable. All right. Let's bring it back to Mirage. First map, real quick. Let's be honest here. Legends are born. To force Hedy to go for a peek, but it's not happening. Hedy in these situations has been phenomenal. I think he's done it again, just waiting patiently. And Alu's been outplayed here, even if he gets this kill, which he does. Uh, he doesn't have time at all, though. Henny's still going to win it. Keo almost turned that one around. Alu so close as well. But Henny has been a huge redeeming factor for Immortals in the last couple of rounds. We've seen so many moments, that Molly that just denied Carrigan. And now you can see a punish here. This is getting Immortals back into the game. This, I, I could have seen this scoreline being a lot cleaner if they'd actually closed out that round earlier, but that shot's just filthy. Well, now, now you look at that round where they push down mid, and you know losing that, it, this is essentially like a three-round swing. That's it looks like it's about to be three rounds over to Immortals just off that. This is the favorites, uh, but I'm here to take the trophy away from them.
Well, you talk about taking the trophy away from them. Of course, you were part of Astralis. How are the feelings between yourself and Astralis? They're good. We are good friends. It was an uh, equal decision to, to split ways. And it worked out for them, and it worked out for us. So I think everybody's happy. When you were watching them, obviously, they are the reigning major champions. What did you feel inside when you saw them win that? I know how hard they work for it, so of course I felt happy. And it's always like they were the right decision to, to remove me and taking Glaive. So all in all, I'm happy for them. I know how hard and how heartbreaking every time we lost in the semifinals. So I'm just happy for them. Now, your phase lineup, you are a band of rock stars, aren't you? It's a real rock and roll lineup you've got going here. How close? Charlie AK. Kirby will plant. Astralis finally have turned their fates as well to completely take all guns away from Heroic and get momentum in the half. So to go seven to five, winning the half might still be a question, but they're making it more likely. At least giving themselves the chance. That Glaive's gonna go back as well toward A main. They're all stacked up outside by the dumpster saving. Device will follow on the op. So there's a big screen. It down goes one. A excuse me, AWP to follow, but M4 held still. Device wants it. Jumps across. Nice. Oh, no scope. Looks for the other. It's all oh. for naught at this point, but device! How sick is that? Gun's gone. Forget picking up a second. Stance over the CTs, trying to need to make something happen, but. Oops. Oh, the timing was there. Simple was spraying toward the stairwell instead, but snaps back in time and takes down Phelps with a mere four HP left. The last possible second that he could have survived. Flame, he's going to spot out for do further damage in toward the uh -oh. bathrooms. Take him down as he tries to repeat P250 in hand. Saving Grace in this is that Fallen steps out. That's going to distract Edward, and they could take advantage of this with Cold's position. He's hoping they're going to walk in. <gasps> Shadow shown. Headshot found. Great play. Nose Guardians out toward long. Can't necessarily get a gun. <gasps> That's amazing. Can't okay. get a gun, but drive by shooting on a pixel that was inside. And Carrigan, to be fair, on the CT side, looked tremendous with the AWP. That's the thing I'm worried about because Astralis come into this, I won't say cold. They just played a match, a full match against FaZe immediately before this. But having just watched this oh, version of FaZe and Nico, look at Alu going down to everyone on the team. Keep it together. I know you're tired. Let's get this done. Goes to every single one of them and talks. Oh, Keo. Okay. Keo says no. Alu oh. says, well, all right then. But yes, this does mean. That's, that's harsh, but Keo's focused. <laughs> Alu's just trying to be a team player, man. He's just been shut down. <laughs> Apparently, Alu's the problem. But yeah. what I have to say is, it's 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 as simple as this. Double up setup, you mentioned it. I think Sao Paulo, they, they got to the stage, I uh, think. E-League, they made it to the playoffs as yeah, well. Yeah, E-League as well. It, but it, you know, this this is a massive moment for these guys from Carrigan. You know, this guy just wants to make it worse. He wants to hurt their feelings at this point. And, Oh, he's gonna farm some good cash playing rain. This this round is is over. It's it's it oh. should be. Oh god, don't do it now. Don't Alu, Alu, are you gonna are you gonna do this as well? All right, let's see. Oh god, this is falling apart. Are you serious? Are you? The How? twins. How do you do this? I mean, that's. Faze got so complacent in that round. That's just oh, that's just way way over extension, over confidence. I mean, you, you can see the idea, right? When they win that round and you and you push down mid like that, that's that's demoralizing to opponents. If if you win that round and just crush it. From Jasp pushes through, actually catches the overcome, but he's jumping, finds the kill. That's an open hand, refaces, but with the shot. Actually lands a second shot. What is going on? It's a two versus two. This is outrageous. This is what we need to see as well. Jeff is the only man right now that can win them this round. He has the orb in his hands as he fires. Matt Mole with one of his own as well. It falls onto Capers. He evil decides if he wins or loses the game here at this point as he tries to find the initial frag. <gasps> Takes down Mole. It falls onto Jeff. It's it's oh my happen. god. Royals. Oh, <laughs> what have we just witnessed right now, Excel? Not going to be going to the finals of ESL Premiership as that means they can. Only maximum league, the maximum they could get right here is a 1-1 scoreline, a draw, and simply put, a draw is... ...has been called for the next round to discuss, to try and theorize, to try and come up with something, an answer for what Australia's are bringing, but there we go, and they both lose the weapons as well. Yeah, that's, that's rough, that's insult to injury. So, Bomb takes out the two weapons that Navi's trying to save, 6-0 to zero for, for Astralis. And I mean, it, I mean, outside of that, there was one round that it really looked like Navi had the chance in, where they had the advantage. Outside of that, it's just been a wash. It's just been a complete wipeout for Astralis. They are in complete control of this match, and that's why we're seeing this pause come out. So hopefully, Starx has some kind of an idea of how to get Navi back on track. You've got to hope. Let's be honest and recap a little about Astralis and Nuke. It's it's not. F that's what we wanted, but. Carrigan is aware that's a possibility. Nico is waiting as well. If Device, okay, he's looked away. Pushes through. That's not the man I'd want to greet me. Not Nico on the other side. 
I mean, that's the thing. Nico, we used to say had to carry his teams every win. Look at him now. Now he's just like an added bonus. He's the sugar on top of the sweets. He's everything they need to make this team so good. As they have a 10-3 lead. Glaive will get rained down, though. It's an advantage to work what? with, but Nico just turns around and obliterates Device. Knows he's pushed up. That's exactly so what we're talking about. Yep. He's perfect there. Device has got a better position to actually lock it down. He's lined up for that push to come back as well. Nico completely rails him there. Dupree, though, behind. Could find two frags here. You played in a tournament. He didn't do too well in the group stages. We know what happened then. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's how it is, you know. Like, we, you can't win everything, and like that's what we also know as uh, we've been working with our sports psychologists about, that we want to be a top four contender every time, but you cannot win every time. That's just, there's too much competition going here. So right now it's looking pretty good for us, and we're going to face off Heroic against us tomorrow in uh, the semifinals, so yeah. Looking at two of the big teams who fell in the group stages with VP and also SK, do you feel your performance outshines them now? Because making it this far seems to have been a tough trip for everyone. It's a little bit of both of yes and no. I mean, best of ones can get random. They had a really tough career, but like everyone was like, it actually ended up being... But they made it work. They certainly did. Who would have thought Immortal to be here in the quarterfinals over SK Gaming and the two Brazilian sides? It's going to be an excellent game. And we talked about the clash of styles here. The wall starts to raise in the middle, Matthew. That's always a very nice touch. Do you like that? I love that. I think it's so cool. No team can see each other. Obviously, the whole flashbang thing is the issue there, but... There's the crowd I expected. Yes. VP is. not in the game. <laughs> they still have their support. We had that last year as well. That's SBS, not VP. But it is going to be North starting out on the CT side of cash. And already we see the buy. It's a kit and a smoke form a disc. It certainly is. And North on the CT side here. This is what we said for Immortals. They're going to struggle on this one. But we're going to see what happens. Well, the two smokes have got the few flashbangs. <laughs> Dum 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 d